how we compile the program. So I, I am using onlinegdb.com, it's a website that is used to compile uh, different programming languages, different programming languages you can see here. So we are going to compile C program, okay. There are also other offline tools available, uh, you can download that, it is freely downloadable. C compilers, so you can download and compile that. Right. Now I have already created a program and the name is miles to kilometer, our program. And this is the command section, these are general commands already included in the default page. This is the command that I have given for our program. A program to convert distance in miles into kilometer created and etc. Right. This is the program that we have seen in our uh, previous video. I have included one additional statement here, this printf statement. It will ask the user to enter the distance in miles because if you don't include this statement, the moment you run this program, you have to enter some value without knowing what you are supposed to do. So this is just a guidance to the user what he or she is supposed to do after uh, compiling the program. So it will ask the user or prompt the user to enter the distance in miles. This backslash n stands for new line. So I want to enter this in new line. Fine. Scan of statement, etc. Here also I have used backslash n. Right. Let us compile this program now and we see what happens. Compiling. Right. Now it is prompting the user to enter the distance in miles. Miles is uh, declared as a fractional variable here. So uh, I am entering for example 1.5. Right. Now you see the distance in kilometer is 2. It is printing a value 2. But I have entered 1.5 and 1.609 uh, multiplied with uh, 1.5 it is uh, approximately I think 2.4 we'll check that 1.609 multiplied with 1.5 yes the answer is 2.4135 but see it is printing only 2 now this is not a accurate result what we are interested in and the reason why we got this problem is we have declared integer this kilometer as integer we have declared this kilometer as integer hence the output is only integer now we want to change this right so in case if we declare this kilometer also as double okay kilometer as double that means fraction and here also we change to double right now you can obviously say both are double so our answer is going to be in double. Now we do another thing also. We change this miles into integer. Okay, because it is integer so no decimal value. So integer miles is zero. Because this miles I have converted to integer, I am using percentage d here to read integer the syntax is percentage d in the scan of statement right now we have changed little bit uh, things in the program this kilometer is changed to double so i have changed uh, the syntax here lf and then this miles is changed to integer so i have included percentage d here right so we have changed the input and output data types that's it right we'll see what will happen can you tell me now what will happen if you uh, give the value of miles in integer? Yes, we will run. Now it is asking me to enter the distance in miles. Now the miles is declared as integer. So I enter the value 10. Now see it is printing 16.09. I entered integer value for miles. It is printing 16.09 that means 1.609 times 10 and this kilometer is declared in double because the kilometer whatever output we want is declared in double 
it is printing the answer in fraction so these are a little bit things you can play around with variables and you understand how these data are getting converted into different formats now i will give you one exercise that you can uh, try on your own in this uh, same program um, so you declare miles as integer and then kilometer as double okay so you try this declare miles as integer declare kilometer as double data type but in this scan of statement instead of percentage d you try with percentage lf so here you try with percentage lf then compile this program and try to understand what it is going to give right so that's all for uh, today so i think um, we have uh, understood how to solve a pro uh, problem using the programming language and how to convert that problem statements into c program thank you